Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Melissa and for today's video, I am showing you guys my skincare routine. A couple of you have asked about it, so I am giving it to you. And honestly, I have the most simplest skincare routine at the moment and it has been the same for a while. Um, these are just the products that work for me, for my skin tone. Um, I usually don't tend to watch videos like these personally because everyone just has so many products and they're so damn expensive too, which is fine, but I don't want to spend all that money and try and find a product that could work for me or could not. But if you guys are interested in any of that, then go ahead and just keep watching because I will show you what I use. So the first product I'm gonna show you, it is really dirty, so don't mind. I was gonna buy a new one just for this video, but I totally forgot because we've been really busy. But anyways, this is a drugstore product and I'm telling you, I've had this for um, almost a year now and it's been treating me well. I do have a little breakout right here but that's probably because you know it's that time of the month or it was that time of the month. So this is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. Now what drew me to this product was the word foam. <laughs> it said foam so I was intrigued and I wanted to use it. But let me read it what it claims. Has salicylic acid, blemish treatment, and it helps prevent breakouts, which I usually have, for clear, even looking skin with soy extracts. So a little backstory on my skin. Um, I do have combination to oily skin. And all through middle school, high school, I always had breakouts around my chin area because I would always be touching myself right here and then here on my forehead because I did play sports. I did sweat a lot and I didn't really take care of my skin back then. I would play softball for like two hours, come home and do homework for like the next five and then I would want to pass out in my makeup. And if you guys do that still right now, if you go to sleep in your makeup, do not do that. I recommend you do not do that because that is causing your breakouts just going to sleep with that nasty makeup on. I mean, I still do it a couple times when you have those days, but I try really hard to really wash my face and keep it clean. And this product has been doing great for me. It has been working magic. Um, it is oil-free, soap-free, hypoallergenic. And then it says, this foaming cleanser helps improve skin's tone and texture and clears up blemishes without over drying, leaving skin soft, smooth, and even looking. This mild formula won't clog pores and is gentle enough for sensitive skin. And I do believe what it says right here, it is a mild formula. Like it says it has salicylic acid. Most of the cleansers that I've tried that have salicylic acid in it tend to really burn my face and this does not do that. It does a great job of uh, taking off the makeup, usually when I have less makeup. But when I usually have like a full face beat makeup, I do tend to go in with this next product, which is Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And this basically is just water. <laughs> but it smells good. It says all-in-one mattifying. Removes makeup, cleanses, and purifies pores. I just use this to get the rest of the makeup off that my cleanser did not take off. And I just love how it smells. I use it before I go to sleep sometimes and it just like <sighs> calms me down. The smell of cucumbers uh, calm me down. Uh, does it leave me mattified? Uh, I don't know. I never read that on here before. Now I do believe that cleanser does a lot for me. But I don't think it's the one that has toned down my acne. I believe it is this. And you girls know what I'm holding up right now. This is birth control. Now, you guys are probably like, huh? Birth control, like if you're young, you're probably like, what? What do you mean it helps your acne? I think it does because I've taken a different birth control before and that just broke me out so much because um, the strength in this was too high so I told my doctor um, I think my birth control is breaking me out so she put me on a lower dosage even when I'm on my period uh, that's when breakouts would tend to come out more 
and I literally just get like one little thing and try not to pop them. That was my thing in uh, high school. I would always see one, barely not even out of my skin yet, and I would go to town and try to poke that thing out of me, and it would just make it 10 times worse. So I wouldn't do that. If you are uh, under the age of 18, you gotta ask your mom first, obviously, because for me it was a little awkward when I wanted to get birth control because I kinda just snuck this up on my dad. My dad went with me. That's another story for another time. But yes, I think birth control was a big help with my acne. Now on days when I have dry skin around my nose area or my pores look a little big, I have been going in with this. This is the Burt's Bees Deep Pore Scrub. Now I only have been using this barely this week, but I do love it already. The smell is peach and willow bark and it smells amazing. I'm only going to use this one day out of the week because I don't think you should exfoliate your face like all the damn time. Your skin is going to be like done. It's going to hate you. I just focus this around my nose area where I get uh, flakes of dead skin just hanging there and it has been a lot smoother since I've used this so I will keep using this and uh, update you guys and then on days that I feel really dry this is my last product this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion uh, very dry to dry combination I am a combination girl combination skin so this works for me too this is just a little sample size but uh, I only put like a little dot on my uh, fingers, rub it in, and bam, you good to go to sleep because I only moisturize at night. I don't moisturize when I get up in the morning, which I should, but yeah, girl does it. That is all the products I use. I really hope this helped out anybody. These products I was lucky to find. Uh, I only use this Aveeno one. I've been using this Aveeno one because it works. I'm not going to go out, spend a shit ton of money for um, a product that I see someone else using if I just found this one. I mean, it's good to test out stuff, but not so many at one time. You need to test out one. If it doesn't work, move on to another one. But um, these are all very affordable products, and if you guys use them, let me know in the comments what you guys think of them. But this is just what I use right now. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more videos to come. And I will see you guys in my next one.